Hi, welcome to the story so far. This is, I haven't posted anything in, in a long while, maybe six months. So this is six months later, what's been happening? Um, what have you done? Uh, what have I been doing? What have you been doing uh, during um, these weird times? Um, have you been just waiting for Bill Gates to bring a vaccine? Have you been trying to uh, be a better version of yourself perhaps? Maybe not. Um, have you been training, eating right, studying? Or have you been doing nothing? So that, this, is, this is quite important because I, one of the reasons I, I really haven't posted anything in six months is I've been uh, quietly watching, observing what's been happening out there in the markets and in the world and in the Australian economy, as a matter of fact, and there's a few things that I've been finding that are the, the dynamics that have been quite interesting. Uh, one, it's been the exodus from the inner city, city apartments, inner city kind of uh, living more into the suburbs and beyond, as in regional centers. For example, vacancy rates in, in, in the city, in Sydney, are 12%. Regional centers are still registering less than 1%. So people, on one hand, people are living, they don't want to rent your inner city properties, that one time where the you know, capital growth, yeah, this, this and that, and they're all moving regional and suburban. So uh, something to think about as well. I've been talking about regional, investing in regional centers. I've been doing it for 20 years. I've been talking about it for newbies and people that want to have a low risk high cash flow or at least positive cash flow investment that's the way to go I've talked about a lot about gold and silver buying bullion hiding it putting it in a safe deposit box it's more more than 30 percent up on your but, but gold is not necessarily a an investment as such because it doesn't have a yield as I've, as I have explained before but it's good hedge against what's been happening, all that money printing, all that BS that's been going on about. This is about preser preservation of your purchasing power. So the fact that it's been 30% up, it means that the dollar, the Australian dollar, the American dollar, and all currencies for that matter have been going down against gold and silver. So you, you, you're preserving your buying power, your purchasing power. Okay. And there's something really interesting being happening, which I will expand in next episodes about super, the, the stock market, all that money that's being printed going into the stock market, so inflating it in a fake way, or your your uh, your stocks like you know your Teslas uh, and all the you know Apple and all that sort of stuff that are being uh, thrown money at uh, with not much. Um, fundamentals uh, behind and I, and I guess I mean in the case of Tesla and that sort of stuff I'm not too uh, I don't follow that much the stock market so I have nothing much not much to comment on the Australian situation but um, what happens in the US drives what's happening in the rest of the world so that's that's where I look at in some regard so I will break this down a little bit further again six months later what have you been doing I think we're going to continue to be six months again and, and we're going to continue to be in this pandemic, BS, bullshit, fear driven economy. So again, what, what have you done? What will you do? Are you just going to wait for Bill Gates? Are you going to continue to study, make a better version of yourself, learn more about what's going on about so you can capitalize on some of these things, regional migration? Gold and silver preservation of purchasing power, stay away from the fake investments, uh, or you're going to do nothing. I'm just going to sit at home and do absolutely nothing. Until next time, stay healthy, stay strong, and sane.